everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new thank you for subscribing I've hit over a thousand subscribers now which I'm super happy about my goal was to try and hit 500 so the fact that I've managed to double it um, I'm really excited about it so thank you very much and if you're new here I'm Sarah and I make videos about how to make money online and the things that I do to make money online such as eBay and match betting and that kind of stuff so today I've got a eBay haul I haven't done one for ages so I've got stuff that I've literally just bought this morning and there's a few other bits that I haven't shown I don't think I've shown anywhere before which I really like so I thought I'd just show them as well first thing I wanted to show you is something I picked up quite a few weeks ago actually and it took me ages to list it because usually I list things pretty quick but I think this is super cool and it's a Holly Hobby Play Piano it's an old Chad Valley one from 1978 and I got it off Facebook actually um, the condition is crazy good I'll show you I got it for £10 which is quite a lot for a little toy but look at it it is so cool and it comes with this little thing even though this has got writing on but it, with the little things you can learn how to play little songs and I just love it the only thing I'm a bit wary of is sending it because when it moves it makes that noise and there's not a lot I can do with that because it's inside so I think I've put it on for about 50 I'm hoping to get between 30 and 50 pounds for it and that should be about a 20 pound profit for that so some of the stuff that I picked up this morning I got to some random things my Wi-Fi didn't work again so I had to just guess everything um, I got this in the night garden lampshade it was only a pound um, if you've had a toddler in the last 10 years then you know that they love this I have no idea how much to put this on for it's only going to be a few pounds profit but I just like in the night garden so that I picked up this Woody Allen DVD I don't know much about DVDs um, but I always pick ones up like this that are a bit uh, obscure Woody Allen DVD 99p these go for about £5, so that's a profit of about £3, which I don't mind for DVDs because they're just so easy. You just put, put them in a little padded envelope and easy, cheap to send. And that's that. Next, I got this 1979 Warner Brothers Tweety Pie and Sylvester Jigsaw. It's complete, and I just I love all these old things. Um, couldn't find this exact one there's a Tom and Jerry one very similar going for not sold but it's on for 12 .99. I this cost me 99p I think yeah 99p and I put it up for about 12 pounds and that'll be a profit of about 10 pounds if it sells for that price this was a bit of a fail but I just didn't really know it's a Disney Mickey Mouse crochet set and it's crochet your own Mickey hat I thought it was cool, it cost me 99p, they're not worth much at all but they're super light and easy to post anyway so whatever, um, yeah it would be about £5 so this is going to be a profit of like 2 to £3 or something like that. This one, I got the chip, what is it, Biff Chip and Kipper full set of books, brand new, this no it's not the full set it's level one two and three in the little case thing um didn't have a clue they were totally overpriced but i just didn't have a clue i knew they were good because i've sold some singles not a full set and these are new as well so i knew they were decent and i knew they were good to buy but i got them from this charity shop that's new and the lady, she had them on the desk and she was photographing them to put on eBay. And she said, I could have them for 25. And I thought, I can't, I can't do that. And she showed me her phone and she was looking at the, she was watching two auctions, I think. And they had, the auctions had like four days left and they were already on like 40 pound. 
So I just thought, you know what, I'll have them then. She was a really good sales lady. But yeah, I couldn't believe it. she was literally, the way she was pricing everything in the shop was just sat on eBay on her phone. So I don't think I'll go in there again. But yeah, I got that for 20, 25. I got that for 25. There is one, this set that has sold for 49.99, but there is some that have gone for like 30. So it's between 30 and 50. I'm gonna go for the top end just because I paid so much for them. If I can sell them for $49.99 like somebody else has, that's a profit of about £20, which I'm pleased with. And then I got these, which I think are really nice. They're placemats, but they are Victorian View 1978 placemats. And they are all um, scenes in Cumbria and the Lake District and Bowness and Windermere. Ambleside and Kendall and all that kind of thing and they're really nice condition they got a little gold label on the back can't find any like these I can find some um, Victorian views of somewhere else I think it was 15 15 or 18 pounds but I've put here these cost me 99p for four and I'm gonna put them on maybe about 15 maybe 18 to start actually i'll just put them for 18 to start and then bring them down if they don't get any interest but i think they're really really nice i got an alice in wonderland dvd just because it was 50p and these are worth less selling on, well it's been like two pounds selling on their own but i'll just wait till i've got a load together and then i got this new and sealed hugo which i haven't seen i don't think hugo blu-ray for a pound That'll go for about between five to eight pound, which is only a profit of about three or five, three or four or five pound. But it's easy, it's new, there's not gonna be any issues with it. Easy to put it in um, an envelope and post. So I'm happy with that. And then next was this, I had no clue, because like I said, I didn't have internet, so I couldn't look. But it's a sticker, hobby net <laughs> net and poster for um what's it called table tennis i think the thing's there yeah it is right sorry i've been looking here where it's there anyway and it's it's an old one i don't know how old though but you can tell it's old just from the box but it cost me 199 and i thought it has to be worth something right it's like just the net and the thing I thought it has to be worth something, so I got it for one ninety nine, and I'm glad I did because I found another one, uh, similar, the same make, and about the same age that someone had sold for. I think it was about eighteen, something like that, eighteen or ninety pound. So I got it for one ninety nine. I'm gonna put it on for nineteen ninety nine. If it sells up that, that's a profit of fifteen pound. After fees, remember I put. Um, I put shipping on all of my items, usually £3.50 or if it's heavier, four ninety nine, And the, yeah, it usually cost me like two eighty five to ship and then the cost of materials and stuff. So um, I don't factor the shipping in. Okay, next I got this Avantalk Bluetooth hands-free car set. I think it's new. But obviously I'll open it and have a look. The box has got, um, is all marked up. But I do think the actual thing is new and just not being used. But I'm not sure. Uh, but I got it for 99p. Someone sold on for 12.99, so that's what I'll be going for. If it goes for that, that's a profit of about 10 pounds. So that's nice and easy. And then I got this Tupperware thingy <laughs> I've sold one of these before it's a salad um, salad drainer or a rice cooker I think that's what I sold it as last time was a rice a microwave rice cooker thing but I don't know it's the vintage Tupperware thing and orange is a nice color my last one was just this beige color all over um, and I got this for two pounds these sell easily for about 12 or 13 pounds so if I put it on for say 13.99 that'll be a profit of about nine pound 
which I'm happy with that. Then I got this. I just saw it and I was like, hmm. Owl. <laughs> it's oh, it's going on my necklace. There. It's a owl made from wood, which I think is cool. And it's got the tags on, and it's from Lakeland. It's got a little gift tag on the top. But Lakeland is usually quite expensive. Yeah, Lakeland Ollie Owl made from natural wood. Yeah, the shop's from in Windermere. And it's really expensive, so I'm guessing this would have been quite a lot. And I think it's new because it's still got the packaging in there. But I'll open it up and have a good look. But it looks really cool. Oh, it's actually made from wood. I got it for one ninety nine. I have no idea about this. I can't find anything like it. I think it's super cool. Um, but I don't know. Owls are good, I guess. Wooden owls. I don't know. I got it for one ninety nine. I'll put it on for about twelve, maybe fifteen, and bring it down to twelve. I don't know. But either way, it'll be a profit of around nine or ten pounds, which is cool. I knew I was missing stuff. Here we go. Clothes. Ugh. I got these super funky Rowan men's climbing pants. They're three quarters and they're for like climbing and outdoorsy hiking stuff. They're really thick material. Uh, yeah, they're cool. I got them for three pounds. I've already listed them, but they're on for 18. Um, which is a profit of about £11. Oh, but obviously I'll take offers on things. So all these prices are just what I'm putting things on for. I'll always um, send offers and yeah, most of my stuff goes on offers with a few pound off. So these are just average prices. And then I got this J Taylor dress. It's really, really pretty dress. Really long and floaty. It's like a wedding or like a cruise you can imagine a lady wearing it on a cruise, couldn't you? Probably not me, but I'm not kind of a dress person anymore. J Taylor dress, I got it for £2. I put it on for 18 just because it is really, really nice. Look, ooh, and it has a belt. Um, but I'll probably come down to like 15 or maybe even 12 But if it goes for 18 that's a £12 profit on that. And I got this little dress, which is nice. I love this. I hope it doesn't sell quickly actually because I want to wear it. Hang on a minute. It's the red red herring. Little little skatery dress with bows. But it doesn't look much on the camera, but it looks really, really pretty on because yes I have tried it on and it fits me very well. But I shan't keep it. It's red herring. I got it for two pounds. Um I'm Think I've listed it. Some of these clothes I think I've already listed. Uh, Twelve ninety nine, which will be a profit of about nine pounds. And this one is so nice. It's only a new look dress, but look how pretty this is. Look at it. It's black, but it is so nice, and it is just my my type of dress. See, I do wear these kinds of dresses, just not long ones. But I love this. It's so nice. And this is another one I hope takes a long time to sell because I'd like to wear it. New look bird dress. I got it for £2. I've put it on for 15 hoping that it stays around a little bit. And if it goes for 15 that will be a profit of around £10. And then I got these Miss 60 jeans which are really really nice really good condition the teeny tiny though look at that teeny tiny um i think they're like a six 26 so i think that's like a six or an eight six to eight nah that's a little less than an eight that's tiny they would have fit me they would have fit me before i had children not anymore Miss 60 jeans, I got them for £2, I think I've, I have already listed these for 18 
and if they sell for 18 that's a profit of about 12 but like I said I'll probably um, take offers on all these things so it's give or take a few pounds and then I have this set it's a kids waterproof set and the pants what is it dry kids um, these are brand new because I actually bought them for summer to go on her school trip but she never used them so I'm selling them on uh, I'm gonna sell put them off like 15 12 to 15 pounds um, and I think that is everything for today so if we add it all up I spent a total of £61.94. If this all sells for my asking price, which I don't think I've been outrageous on my prices, but like I said, I do take offers and stuff. So this is really average. Uh, not average, this is really approximate. Um, altogether, that will be £277.98 in sales. And then in overall profit after fees i don't have to worry about shipping because like i said i charge shipping so uh, that's that's accounted for um after fees and cost of goods and all that kind of stuff that would be a profit of around 215 pounds but like i said um i do take offers and things like that so i think that's everything for today Thanks for watching and again thank you to all my new subscribers and I'll see you in the next video.